unleash a tyrant. The empire's on the run. Whether it be the leader Alex of Alex Jones Babylon, and the GCN Radio King Network. George III or Santa Ana, Mexico. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. I want to open the phones up to get your take on Ferguson. The clear evidence that there are Justice Department, New Black Panther Party, troublemakers there clearly trying to stir up violence. Our reporters almost got hit by a car. The other night, driving through the crowd uh, that looked like they were targeting them, the people jumped out in ski mask and then uh, ran off. We've got MSNBC reporters, CNN reporters being hit by rocks. Over the last few days, Chris Hayes was the latest. And we've got uh, CNN reporters being arrested by the police. It's a bunch of mindless barbarism. And it really displays how ignorant the public is, but also how ignorant the police are of just what's going on around them. And from the beginning, the feds have been there advising. And even before the beginning of this, the feds were there giving them the training. And that leads me to the story that's up on DrudgeReport.com. It's up on Infowars.com. We ended the broadcast yesterday as this story broke, document Army preparing to use lethal force against unarmed civilians during full-scale riots in the United States. But they need to set the precedent 
So the military and the police feel like this is a reasonable mission. It's on the left-hand side of Drudge. Army manual details preparations for full-scale riots in the USA and shooting, quote, unarmed civilians with sniper response. Lethal sniper response. You can read the declassified, publicly released Army document released last Friday. The public discovered it yesterday. We wrote about it. No dinosaur media has picked up on this bombshell document yet. In fact, guys, I printed the document yesterday. It's in the TV studio. Somebody will give me that. Thank you so much. But all Americans are being robbed by the globalist. All Americans. 99.99% .99 of us are on the bad receiving end of this tyranny. And all of us should value freedom, value justice, value the truth, and decry everything we see that is a problem and try to do something about it. I want to give the phone number out, and then when we start the next hour, we're going to talk to our reporters on the ground about what they witnessed in Ferguson and more. And we're going to break down civil disturbances, manual ATP 3-39.33, that was created in April of this year and approved for public release distribution unlimited last Friday, Headquarters Department of the Army. NORTHCOM is now op uh, operating openly against the American people. The Army is publicly, along with the Marines, training to take on the Tea Party, gun owners, rural communities that will not go under martial law. That is the main focus on record. They will use unsavory thugs and people opportunistically burning down buildings and throwing them all off cocktails at police as the pretext to roll out the MRAPs, the sound cannons, the rubber bullets, the cameras and microphones on the street corners that are beyond 1984. That's what's happening. They will use the threat of Al-Qaeda to take our liberties as well and publicly arm them. When the public wakes up, they just rename them ISIS, ISIS, ISIS. IS, all the different names that they've given it to confuse the public. This is a PSYOP. This is being run against the people of Ferguson, against the thugs that have come in, against the state police, the local police, the National Guard. They're all there compartmentalized, being taught the new police state model that was rolled out in Seattle in 99 and Katrina in 2005. And at the WTO, we caught the WTO repeatedly in Canada, in Ottawa, in London, England, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. On record, even came out in mainstream news, police dressed up like anarchists attacking police so that they would have a pretext to then attack the crowd. We have not seen any clear, verified evidence of that this time because there are reporters there and we know what to look for. Or it could be that the police are being moral. But it is on record that they hired anarchists and provocateurs, protected them. The Delta Force ran it. That came out in three Seattle papers. Seattle Post Intelligence, sir, you name it. I made a film about it. But I do know it's being provocateured by the tax-free foundations, Ford Foundation and others that are on record funding the Black Panther Party, the new Black Panther Party, La Raza, Metcha, all these race-based groups. They've caught the Southern Poverty Law Center, and other groups running white supremacist groups, not to infiltrate groups, setting them up to then run around and say unsavory things to stir up communities so they can drive the black community into the hands of the mindless, idiot clowns of the new Black Panther Party. 
who undoubtedly are useful idiots in the lower ranks, feds at the top. Remember Khalid Muhammad? We kill the women, we kill the children, we kill the babies, we kill the beautiful blue-eyed babies. That's right, because the blue-eyed baby, the blue-eyed baby is going to grow up to be a big devil and going to try to kill our babies. And then every nine months, the white woman lays on her back and outrolls reinforcements to the military manufacturing center. By the way, you can actually pull up that clip. I can almost do a perfect imitation. I love to do imitations, as everybody knows. Oh, dear, pesky earth creature. You'll say I'm racist doing a Khalid Muhammad imitation. I'm not against Martians. I just did a Martian imitation. What about an Optimus Prime? Autobots transform and roll out. Transform and roll out. I am Optimus Prime. Let me do another one. This is CNN. Pretty good, huh? Sometimes I got to have some gallows humor, as I've said many times. Here's the toll-free number. I want to talk to first-time callers about Ferguson, but also entertain me in this. What else is this diverting and distracting us from? Obama has ended our borders, legalized all the illegals. That story starts to really wake people up. Now this happens. Nobody's talking about the VA scandal and the death list. No one got in trouble. They have death panels for the veterans. I mean, right there, what an evil government. No one's talking about all-time high meat prices across the board because of them shutting down farms all over the country and dollar devaluations. No one's talking about, in Texas, Breitbart, $45 million to educate foreign miners just this year. According to the Texas Comptroller, the Texas Education General Council audit. No one's talking about it because there's just this big pageant of, oh my gosh, somebody got killed. One man dies, it's a tragedy. 10,000 died, it's a statistic. Joseph Stalin said that, and it's true. You abort 52% of blacks. I talk to black folks about that, liberal blacks. They go, good, nobody wants them. You know, nobody wants them ugly black babies. I mean, you've heard that. I've played the clips here. I've had black leaders in my studio, socialist, in front of Rob Dew. I never even aired the interview. It was so sickening. Basically saying, yeah, there's too many black people. I mean, it's so sick because they're the inside operatives of the Democratic Party. They're to make sure blacks never find liberty, never find monetary success, or dangle out, oh, you can be a rap star or an NFL football player. I mean, how many slots are there for professional sports or to be a hip-hop sensation? Maybe 10,000 slots for all the professional sports and all the rap jobs and all the coolness You've got how many million black people in this country? 12% of the population is black. What's 12% divided out of uh, 315 million? I know that it, there's not a slot for 99.9% .9 of people. But, but you'd believe everybody, and by the way, it's not black folks. They're not the only ones. Almost every white person I know coming out of college thinks they're going to be a rock star, a hip-hop star, or a movie star, and they're all totally delusional, running around looking for movie stars all around them. I mean, what a delusional society. Everybody wants to be some big star. It is just so bizarre. Because that's how you attain something. You don't be an honorable father, an honorable fa mother, and help your community and build a better society and do wood carving in the garage or paint and go sell your paintings on the weekends because you love them or get into gardening, or get into mountain biking, or rock climbing, or get into you know, going and helping at the local shelter, or poetry. There are a lot of happy people that have their hobby, their passion. They're fulfilled. They're not depressed. But you've got all these young people, and all these yuppies. I mean, let me tell you, living in Austin now, Austin has been ruined where I live. Toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. We're going to open the phone system up right now. 800 